M0FXB, welcome back to my videos on the Radtail RT 950 or 950 Pro. We've got APRS running at the moment. We've also got airband on the A band. Watch this. We're going to go 133850 and we're in VFO mode AM. We can just press the VFO memory button here. We've got APRS being received and we've also got this transmitting APRS to there's airband to my FT3D. And we're loving this. Now the Pro model is available any day, which I've got coming for tests, but and which is great, but and that will transmit on CB if you know, because some people do want that. Now generally most of the hams that I've spoke to um, don't really use the CB. So I've set a button to transmit. Okay, let me transmit here. If I just press this, it should. Oh, we need a GPS lock for it to transmit, which is such a shame. We've just lost our GPS. See, it's gone red there. It should be white. We could put it into fixed, fixed mode. Um, I'll just show you the GPS transmissions that we've already had. Uh, M0 FXB. Just go down and then select, and that's the ones we've had already. It's definitely working. I made a separate video. This video is actually about Bluetooth programming. So download the app. I'll put the link in the in the description. I'm going to back out and go and just and just show you how to set up the Bluetooth app. So once you open the app, the buttons are actually along the bottom here. Now, if you've got everything in the way, you're going to have to just change your Android phone so that it works on swipe gestures because I had that in the way and had to change that. But otherwise, you go, you tap here to connect Bluetooth. It, it finds, of course, make sure your Bluetooth is turned on by swiping down Android phone at the moment. Tap it, it automatically finds that. Then tap the, the middle selection and look, RT, and you want the 950 model, not the Pro. You know, depending on the model you're using, it mines the, the 950. And then just tap the read button here and go read. And it's reading, even though we've got APRS running and you heard airband there. You can still, that's the nice thing. A lot of people complain about these type of cables. But the nice thing about these type of cables is you can still hear the radio. And let's see if I get a bit more light on it for you. As it reads. So that's the upside to the, the, the screw-in cables that most people complain about. So we start off in channel mode and also we do have zones here. You can select different zones. We're in zone one. Then we go down to channel number one. Tap it. Channel name is GB3WR. So you would tap here, type your name. Tap beneath, you receive and transmit frequency. You've got the arrow down there at the bottom to put in your tone, power, and select just the usual parameters. Frequency mode is like what it's going to be on when you just turn it on. You're in VFO frequency mode by pressing the VM button here. You decide what you want that to be. Um, and if we go back to channel, choose a different channel. Let's choose number seven was my APRS channel. 144800 in the UK, 144900 USA, I believe. Um, but otherwise, just no tone required, just the power level. Then you go to optional here, and um, <clears throat> you can start add, you know, adjusting your squelch and just all the parameters in the settings when you press the blue button, and it just works. And then when you're done, you hit right, and it writes to the radio. So I think it's working really well. Uh, looking forward to the testing the Pro model. If you've got this model, you know, don't think to yourself, oh, I've got the this model, just think to yourself, um, am I going to use C CB? Now, I do feel like the upper sideband, lower sideband is something that many of us hams would want. So um, that's that's probably the biggest bugbear, if that's the way you want to put it, um, because they put the radio out there very quickly. Get that finish. Oh, that boot up pick, which I made a video installing. Um, it's a fantastic radio, but we we didn't realize straight away that it didn't have upside band lower side band so i've got all the links in that you need i've made videos 
it, it does have um, a spectrum scope. I'm pretty sure I got that on zero here. And you can bring the squelch down just by pressing down there. See all the signals coming in? So I'm squelching it with the down arrow. And you can hear what it finds. You can hear. Like that. You can make another adjustment by pressing the OK, adjust the step. As you're seeing, the hash, adjust the span, top left, top right, and then the star, AM, FM, AM. It works fine. And, and yes, it's receiving and transmitting APRS. We are getting APRS. I am using an external antenna. You've got to remember that uh, if you really want to pick everything up, you need to get outside or put an external antenna with an SMA adapter. These are a few pounds on Amazon. Completely happy with this radio. Um, so thanks for watching my YouTube channel. This one's really about Bluetooth. 73.